in Porto. Check in, eat something, and then we're gonna hit the city. We still didn't eat anything and it's 3 o'clock. Yeah. And intermittent fasting is on. This is really nice. Porto is more affordable than Lisbon, I have the feeling. And the smell in here is really good. <laughs> That's me. Should we ask if we can stay two nights? Probably. That's how we travel. <laughs> Four o'clock. Francesca made a breakfast. This is the kitchen, this is the entrance, and this is the magic room. The interiors are just so nice, and it's just so spacious. It's actually also pretty sick. It's on the main street of Porto, kind of. Pretty, pretty cool. I think we paid. And that's the toilet. All right, breakfast time. Well deserved. We're just crossing the bridge. Drive outside of the city to actually park the car because um, yeah, it's not possible in the city center. Boring story over. <laughs> All right, we parked the car. We're walking for 10 yes. minutes towards the center. And now we found a place where you can actually look over the whole city. And it looks just so beautiful. Yeah. Oh, that's the bridge we're gonna cross. It's the one which was built by the, this one guy who was also building the Eiffel Tower. I think there's a high thing down there. Can you hear it? Yeah, it is. So we were just walking a little bit through Porto and so far we like it a lot. Yeah. Francesca found one local restaurant that is supposed to be like extremely good and quite cheap. It's not gonna be fancy I guess but... I saw the photo of risotto yeah. and... It looks really good actually. Mm -hmm. So let's check. Check it out. Okay, this food came so fast. We have a dorada. Dorada. <laughs> it's like some red rice and salad. And dorada. For the sundowner we got some ice cream. It's always time for magnet. I think we actually missed the sun down there. Probably. But the tide is still pretty the nice. The tide is pretty nice, so. A little bit drunk. <laughs> in love, life is good. Drunk in love. We found some live music. Today's the day we're gonna explore Porto, and the first thing to do is to. Get Vespa again. Let's see if they have some Vespa. Gracias. And look where we are, the city center of Porto. Crazy, huh? Do you have mask? Yeah. Alright, so we booked the Vespa, but we yeah. got this 125cc right, uh, Honda. Honda. He didn't have a Vespa. Wow. It looks like this. Okay, so first thing we're gonna do is explore Porto from yeah. Vespa. Let's do it. Few moments later. We just got stopped from the police, so. <laughs> we were driving for like two minutes. Crazy, huh? So we just drove to this market nearby to check out if we get some fresh fruit. And my mask right. broke. I had to get a new mask. The supermarket is actually super empty. Yeah, but it's actually really cool. They have like super fresh fish. We're gonna get some fruit. And like all the locals are super nice here, so it's actually cool. To get some fresh food for the breakfast. Yeah, we just got a three, papaya. Five, right? We don't have plastic bags, I feel bad, I know. Yeah. They don't have anything else. Coffee time it is. Okay, we got some iced coffee, double espresso. And this place is really cool. Yeah, absolutely. Love it. The interiors and with plants, just our style for sure. Alright, so breakfast at home. Yes. It's like, I don't know, like two o'clock. And we bought papaya on a local market, as we were before. Yeah, and peaches. And we forgot to say that that market that we were before, it's actually... On the construction site right now, so it's not that typical. It's just a temporary. Yeah, that's why it looked so modern, kind of. Yeah, and like not so... authentic. So after three pastéis de nata in Lisbon, it's time to try one from Porto. Yeah, and this... People say this one is really good, so we're gonna try it out. No queue at all? That's what I like, let's go. We're gonna take three pastéis de nata. Let's try it. Mm. Mm. Okay, this is probably one of my favorite. Really? Yeah, for sure. Oh, yes. Mm. That's my favorite. 
Because I think the crust is so crispy and big, right? Mm -hmm. And it's just one euro. This is the best pastel in Atlanta in Portugal. If you ask us. Yeah. Gracias. So good. And I ate three, three of them, so uh -huh. I can confirm they're the best. Yeah, he, he's, the, he's the professional now. The pastel in Atlanta master. decided to go to a port wine tour. We made it two minutes before they actually closed the entrance and the smell in here is just incredible. That's me. And we have this thing to hear all about the history. And I think we're actually the only ones here. We just went to the tasting room and look at this. How mood is this? There's a chicken sitting on the lab. Yeah, it's the big as cock. That's a cock. I want this cock over there on my lap. You want a That's what peacock? she said. <laughs> Okay, let's try some wine, then it gets even, even funnier. Together with some dark chocolate, the color is really, some really strong nice. flavored cheeses, for example. Yeah. Okay, we're doing the wine tasting now. And look who just <laughs> entered the chat. <laughs> the manager entered the chat. He's the boss. He majestic, yo. He's really majestic. Here. Cheers. Cheers. So we have like tasting here. We have uh, white. Aperitivo. It's called dried chip and the vintage. I didn't eat anything after breakfast and this pastel de nata. I will have a good time after this, that's for sure. Probably. The next level of a cock. Peacock. Hey, actually, I know how the peacock sounds. Oh. Ah, ah. <laughs> what up, boy? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> <I tried. laughs> With Mr. Cock himself. Made an appointment, he could make it for coffee. I didn't say no, did I? <laughs> this is hilarious. The rooster is the fucking boss. Of he, the rooster is like, look at his hair. It's like so majestic. <laughs> it's so funny here. I love it. wine tour is over. We are searching for a place to go eat. Actually, I'm a bit shit-faced. Dolce Vita Club. restaurant. We're in the center of Porto. I'm gonna eat now. Already hungry. They're very nice. Okay, 